In today's video, we're going to see how to hack the password of an Instagram account. So let's start the video. First off, we got to update our Kaylee machine and then install git. For this, you want to use the command sudo apt install git. Now we got to go to GitHub and search for social media hacking toolkit. Friends, whatever I typed here, upper or lower case, you got to search exactly like this. Otherwise, a lot of times the result won't show up. You'll see a bunch of repositories. Scroll down a bit and click on the social media hacking toolkit with correction repository. Friends, by using the social media toolkit, we're going to hack the password of an Instagram account. Copy the URL of that repo and come back to your terminal. Now type in the terminal, git clone, and paste the copied URL, then press enter. As soon as you press enter, the social media hacking tool is going to download to our Linux machine. To run it, we got to download some important dependencies too. For that, go to the social media hacking toolkit directory with cd command, and then go to the dependencies directory with cd dependencies. Now run the command shown in the dependencies folder. That'll install the stuff we need. With this, we can stay anonymous while attempting attacks. It uses a VPN, but you gotta create an account for the VPN, and it's usually free. So search for Winscribe on your browser. You'll see winscribe.com as the first result. Click that. Here you gotta sign up. If you already got an account, you can use it. Pick whatever username you want, set a password, and give an email ID. You can even use a temp email if you wanna. After the account's created, come back to the terminal and log in to Winscribe on Linux. Enter your Winscribe username and password. If a logged in message shows up, then you can use Winscribe VPN for free. I'll make that all clear right now. Next, we're going to come out of the dependencies folder, use cd space double dot. Now to run the social media hacking toolkit, we got to install the Python requirements. So go to the CMD folder with cd cmd, then run pip3 install hyphen r requirements dot txt. All the requirements will get installed with that command. If you see an environment error, then you gotta create a temporary virtual environment. If you don't have Python installed on your system, install it like this. sudo apt install python3. Create a virtual nv and activate it. Once you've got a venv activated, run that command again. Once all the requirements are downloaded, exit the cmd folder with cd space double dot. Now we're ready to run the toolkit. First, give it execution permission with chmod plus x linux dot sh. Then run dot forward slash linux dot sh. After you press enter, the toolkit's gonna launch. Here you'll see that this tool supports various social media hacking options. Instagram, Facebook, Gmail, Twitter. We're gonna select Instagram, so type one and press enter. After this, it asks if we wanna keep the VPN on. Using the VPN lets us perform attacks anonymously from different IPs, so we'll keep it on, press one and enter. After that, it asks what kind of attack we wanna perform, brute force, mass report, or phishing. Today, we're going with the brute force attack. Brute Force targets a specific account and uses a target-based word list to try passwords. Mass Report will report the target account multiple times anonymously and might even get it taken down. Phishing uses a separate phishing tool. I'll cover that in an upcoming video. For now, press 1 for Brute Force. Now enter the target's ID and press Enter. Then you gotta give it a word list to perform the Brute Force. Copy and paste that target-based word list into the word list folder inside the social media directory. After that, type the name of that same word list and press enter. With the VPN on, the script uses a new IP for every password attempt. That keeps us totally anonymous. But yeah, because the IP's changing, it runs a bit slow. Here you can see it found the correct password. You'll also notice Instagram sent me a security warning. It showed the login location as Romania. Instagram's beefed up their security recently, but as long as the target doesn't change their password, we can log into their account with this password. If the brute force is taking too long with the VPN, you can run it without the VPN. It'll run a little faster without it. A lot of accounts have two-factor authentication turned on, so we can also hack emails with this tool. I'll cover that in another upcoming video.